Hello everybody, Valentin Toto from Alia here. Today, we're going to add a tool, an external API call to our Agent Studio. So to do that, let's go to our tools and then switch over to the AI Agent Studio. Within the AI Agent Studio, we're gonna go down to the tool section, okay, right? Your landing page is gonna be the studio. Uh, we wanna go to uh, tools. Okay? Within tools, you of course see that we have 232, 35 tools here. We're gonna add a new one. All right, and the tool type is going to be the external rest. Okay, so external rest, give it a name. Let's call this test V8. Okay. It automatically assigns a, a code to it based on the tool name. We'll also give it a, a family for security purposes. Uh, there are roles that are tied to the usage of each of these tools, and you got to make sure that the family and product plus your user security uh, matches that and being able to use this tool is tied to security. So be cautious of that. Give it a description. Uh, let's say we're making a REST call to Oracle um, um, Integration Cloud Services, uh, OIC. Uh, so I can say um, calls to get logs from OIC. Okay. Uh, you can also enable human in the loop. Um, so if, if this was a sensitive, maybe you're doing a, you know, a post or a put call, you know, to update something, maybe not logs, but maybe activating or deactivating an integration, uh, you maybe want to have approval in the chain to make sure that, yes, okay, this is a good step based on your agentic nature, you know, do, do perform this call, but there will be human approval in the chain. So you can toggle that on if you wanted to do that. Uh, and then at the bottom of that tool is where you'll actually add all your authorization. And then in the functions is where you'll actually add any kind of get, post, put, patch um, commands uh, with their endpoint URIs, okay? So authorization, the first thing we do is you click on add, and then you have a couple of choices. Obviously the first one is none, which you should never do any kind of API calls with none unless it's um, public info and, and there's just no authentication. But at minimum, you know, you should at least have basic uh, I know that there are services that do not accept basic. Uh, OIC is one of them. So you have to actually do things like user assertions, user assertions with password or client credentials if you're just doing OAuth 2 and sending the, you know, through authorization server and basic client secret combos are necessary. But user assertion is, sorry, user assertion with password and credentials is kind of the go-to um, if you want to give it some kind of description. Obviously, you need a URL in here, right? Um, a description okay and then of course the username the password and then if the way you've set up or given authority to your oic within the vcn within oci um you give it the proper client id the secret the scope uh, any kind of token url right if, if, if it's retrieved via that call user and password that's something granted that scope and secret right so that it can authorize the service you would update this i probably won't take it because i didn't fill any of that info out uh, but if you do fill it out, it will make the connection. And then, so that's the authorization tab. And then you get into the functions is where you'll actually declare um, your end call. So maybe this is uh, getting some kind of user data, right? User data. You would say that this is the HTML get command. Here's our post and patch, okay? Uh, the path itself, right? The URI here, and then some kind of description, okay? Uh, you also have the capability to add parameters if you're going to be passing in any kind of bind variables or parameter or values into that URL. You can set them up here. Uh, you can also manipulate headers if there are specific. I know that the patch command does specify, has specific header um, settings because of effective dates. So you have to make sure that those are added and functional and a deviation or part of the call from the um, agent itself, right? Because those have to be scripted within the topics and within the agent itself. So be, be cautious of that. But we're going to do just a simple get to a URI, um, you know, user info, whatever that is. Um, you're going to add that. And then once all of that, that's done, you've defined what are many functions because you can have several gets for different granularities or uh, puts, patches, whatever it may be. You've got the authorization. At that point, you're able to create, um, probably it's not letting me create because I don't have something in here and it will save that tool and that tool can then be um, used within an agent itself so thanks a lot for watching and hope everybody has a great day thank you